to Live in the Solution. I'm Mary Trimble with your readings for August the 22nd through September the 2nd. Look, before I go any further, um, I'm hoping that you will be watching this on Sunday, preferably before 5.30 p.m. because I'm organized, and of course, if you are in New York, I'm organizing a beach cleanup. And I would love it if you would join us. It's so much fun. The kids really get into it. They talk about it. They take, you know, they talk about it at school. They really get, to, they're asking questions. And, and it's a really uh, wonderful example um, to set for your children and we have a we have a blast when we do it so I'll bring the rubber gloves and the uh, trash and recycle bags and I'll see you on the boardwalk in Coney Island across from Nathan's so please come if you're in the area um, and uh, we'll get a chance to hang out and clean the beach <laughs> First of all, thank you so much for all the likes, shares, comments, and there were so many comments. I really appreciate you guys. Um, so thank you for that. Thank you for sharing and um, subscribing. If you're new, welcome. I really hope that you stay around and you enjoy the readings and that you'll come back. And if you're returning, thank you so much. I love you guys hanging in there. Um, now, uh, th these are general readings, guys. If you would like a personal reading, um, you can click on this link right here. Um, you can also uh, check me out on Patreon. It's another way to support me. And I have posts there just for patrons. And, um, and there are reward, uh, reward levels. So check it out. You know, it's a way to uh, give back. And uh, that link's right here, too. So now, um, let's go to the astrological report, shall we, for this week. Now, on the 27th Monday, um, Mars has been backtracking. It's been in retrograde. And on Monday, it kind of what we call stations direct. It's where Mars has been really slowing down and it's coming to a halt on Monday. Now, when a planet slows down and particularly mars is a is one of our um it's one of our personal planets what they call a personal planet because it's closer to the earth and actually you can see it in the sky at night so if you look out up at night you can see it i was looking at it last night um so it's close to the moon and you'll see it's got a red hue or depending on where you are it looked a bit yellow for me <laughs> or oh, the pollution in New York City. Anyway, um, so look up at the sky and you, you'll be able to see Mars. Now, um, as it slows down, and, and particularly when it comes to a stop, the, uh, the elements and the, and the energy of that planet is um, enhanced, if you will. It's, you know, it's uh, magnified. So... You know, we could be uh, irritated. <laughs> we might want to lash out at somebody verbally and some people maybe physically. So it is a really good time to meditate, <laughs> to kind of think before you react, to understand what's going on so you get it, you know. Um, it's, it's really um, important to remain calm within the storm. Um, now, on Tuesday, it starts to move forward. So things are going to pick up for us. I mean, not initially, because it takes a while for Mars to get going. You know, it's a, it's a big planet and it's got to uh, get going in that direction. But now things can go forward because Mercury is out of retrograde and, and, and it's out of its shadow period now. So that's going straight ahead. So I think that this week... We'll start to be a little more inspired to get things done. We'll start to feel like things are starting to pick up. You know, maybe it's been a bit slow over the last few weeks. You know, people go on vacations too in in uh, in August. And we're getting ready to come up to, you know, Memorial Day. So it's the last holiday, really, before the kids go back to school. So people will be busy preparing for that. And, and we'll feel like there's a trajectory uh, going forward. Um, so 
that's all I have to say really for the um for the astrological report this week of course the moon does lots of things it changes signs every two basically every two two and a half days um so there's a lot going on with that but there's too much there are little aspects and and it's so uh temporary the energies from that it's unless it's a full moon or a new moon it's not really uh worth discussing anyway um so let's go to your card shall we Hello Virgo and welcome to your reading for August the 27th through September the 2nd and happy birthday it's your season guys happy birthday to my sister Kathleen you've met her before on previous videos when I've been visiting London and uh, this reading is fascinating and all of course all of you other uh, Virgos out there, if there's anyone that you want to have a shy shout out for, even if it's for yourself, comment below and, uh, and I'll do that for you next week. So the first card out for you guys is the Nine of Wands. Um, the Nine of Wands is saying, look, she's been in a battle for a while and she's exhausted she's tired it's sometimes it's like this represents you um having the same old fight it could be in a relationship it could be at work it could be an event that you are trying to get together or a project or something and you are you feel like you're failing at every point every time you get a little bit further something else happens so it's almost like you know you are battling with this situation right and um and you're really kind of ready to give up whatever this situation is for you uh virgo so it's almost like you're tired and you want to give up but when the nine of wands comes in right it's saying look it's time to take a step back it's not time to give up at all in fact quite the antithesis of that this is the time to take a step back you know heal recover and then go back in and start all over again you'll you'll be able to do it now it's interesting because you've got the nine of cups right and the nine of cups is saying that look the nine of cups is saying you've got all this wealth and you're you're almost at the finish line and you've made all these kind of uh uh decisions to get you where you are right now um but you are alone now that may not be bad for you because you've made those decisions and you're perhaps all right with the cost of you being alone um he looks fairly happy you know on his seat surrounded by opulence um so this is saying well look let me go on because it's fascinating what a bit further on right so this is saying take it well you know and he's sitting back and he's looking at what what he has so this is a time to retreat um bow out of this battle right now heal your wounds you know get get uh what's the word i'm looking for um reju be rejuvenated get your energy level up and what it's saying here the next card is the four of wands it's time to have a bit of fun right this is time to celebrate this is like Beltane right the mall dancing and its community this is a time to really kind of um, enjoy yourself right there's a celebration here so let put down this put down this uh, wand because it's not a sword put down put it down um, retreat and have a bit of fun you know go out there and have some fun um, now clarifying that <laughs> is the four of ones again a different they're two different uh decks right so you've got look you've got two nines here two four of ones here so this is definitely saying take a step back from whatever you're trying to do it's almost like you're not going to be able to complete it. You're not going to be able to finish it. It's not a win-win situation. So you need to step back and you need to have a bit of fun, right? Enjoy yourself. You better enjoy yourself. Oh, don't get me started. 
And the next card is another four, right, is the four of pentacles. This is saying, look, I feel that you're holding on to something. Maybe it's this. Because you know what a perfectionist you are, right? So it's like, you don't want to let go. You've, there's got to be a way. You've got to think around it. It's, you know, it's like, you know, you can't let it go. So this is saying, let it go. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> I am incorrigible. I really am. But let it go, Virgo. Let it go. And I'll tell you why. What's really fascinating about this, this is unbelievable, right? You have the hermit. Now, the hermit is number nine. Yet another nine, right? This is, the hermit represents, look, the hermit represents Virgo. It's interesting. And the hermit is, he's in solitude, right? He's on top of a mountain. The lantern represents his mind. The staff rep represents, you know, how he can uh, go forward with help, right? And balance. This is the thing with the hermit. It's saying the hermit's in solitude. And that's what you, look, solitude, solitude. You feel kind of uh, alone almost. I don't mean alone in a sense of, you know, you're a, a, definitely not a victim alone, right? But you feel that you are, you're such a perfectionist, you're out there do, trying to get that done no matter what, right? Now, the hermit is a learned fellow, let's put it this way. He uh, retreats from society he's he's you know a bookworm i know my sister is for sure <laughs> right Kath? um he will learn everything he can right all this knowledge he will bring it in and the the hermit is saying that it's kind of your duty that once you when you gain this knowledge this is also self-reflection right so really this is about retreating and having some you know do some self-reflection what is it that's holding you back virgo what is it um and honestly because you you're ruled by uh, by mercury so the mind is constantly going you're constantly trying to analyze and you know to to perfection it can drive you insane and and that's why sometimes you can be critical because you have such a high standard for yourself uh, you know as so you it's easier to it's easy to um criticize others because you have this perfectionism thing going on let it go <laughs> anyway when the hermit comes up it, it is saying this is a time for self-reflection. It's like this, right? It's a time for self-reflection. It's a time for healing. It's a time from separating the noise. It's really good time to meditate. Because in meditation, you can quieten the mind and stop the analyzing and the constant drive for perception, for perfection. <laughs> Now, when you get this, when you get this quietened mind, you will be able to see every situation differently. It'll, it'll color your world, if you will, in a different color. So you'll perceive things differently. And when we have this knowledge, it is our duty um, to pass this along to everyone else, to share it, to share it with others. And there is not um, a more sharing sign than Virgo. Virgo is very, uh, very giving, very selfless. I think Virgo is very selfless. Um, so I think that the big message here, darling, is, well, also the literal meaning for the four of ones, FYI, is a, like a celebration, like a party, like a birthday. <laughs> Go figure, it's your birthday, double indemnity. Celebrate your birthday in a big way. Celebrate. Da, 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 da. Um, so what we're going to do um, for your extra card because it's your birthday, yippee! 
We are going to pull uh, Wisdom of the Oracle by Colette Baron reed I do love these cards. So let's see what wonderful blessings, messages, and guidance. Uh, can the Wisdom of Oracle give to Virgos for this coming week? What wonderful messages, guidance, and blessings can the Wisdom of Oracle give to Virgo for this coming week? Oh, there it is. Oh, mending. Oh, my. OMG. Okay. Mending, darling. This is, look, five and two, set, five and two, 52, reduces down to seven. And seven is introspective. It's, ma it's meditation. I, I'm telling you, these cards blow me away. And look how beautiful that is. Look at the color of the sky, the pink and the blue. Mending is, you know, retreating, repairing, rejuvenating you know, uh, rejuvenate yourself, retreat from society, have quiet time, have some of your, you time. That is what this is saying, the nine of wands, and it's what the hermit is saying. Let go of whatever it is that you're, uh, uh, I don't, you know, look, I could say over analyzing, but I want to say it's almost to an obsession. Let go of this. Let go of your idea of how you can handle it. Sometimes it's best to just let go. Take the time to celebrate. Celebrate your birthday. You know, celebration is on the, is definitely coming in anyway. You've got celebration there. You know, this, this could be, you know, it could be a birthday. It could be a birth. It could be, you know, any kind of communal celebration here. And you've got this one, mending. I'm going to quickly read that for you. Uh, 52, I have to look at that. 52 numbers. 52. 52. And it, this is... <laughs> Kathleen, you're not going to like this. This is forgiveness, making amends, and healing after arguments. Each time we are hurt and allow the hurt to pass through us without understanding and integration, we accumulate an unwanted burden. This keeps us chained to the very things we need to heal. The pain, the memories, the echoes, the resentments, and the arguments that we rehearse over and over now is the time for mending rifts healing wounds letting go of the old hurts in order to reclaim your power now is the time to forgive to release to make peace and to make amends to others set yourself free oh that's what this whole reading is about you know it's letting go of the hurt right and it's making amends, even if it's to yourself, it's getting some interest, but you've got to kind of back off from this, let go of this battle, this, you know, it's like, it's not doing you any, any good to do that, but retreat, quieten the mind, so that you can make amends, even to yourself, but definitely to others. Apology accepted, Kathleen. <laughs> Oh, guys, you know, I always give her a hard time. Don't feel bad for her. <laughs> Listen, thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Don't forget to like this video. Share it on your social media. Um, comment. I love comments and feedback. And subscribe if you haven't already. Mwah! I love you all. And I'll see you next week. For a personal reading with Mary, go to www.liveinthesolution.com dot com.